All right, you're recording, so. Okay. You voicing over or am I? Yeah, you, you can do it. If you just you can, if you have any tech questions, let me know, and I'd be like, oh, this card, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, we're here in a quiet lull for the Madoka launch at Hammer Girl Anime. Uh, weather is crazy outside. You open up a, uh, a box of uh, Madoka boosters and you get a one of five chibi promos. You got the Kyoko, which seems to be the most common of them. And away you go. Every set has, uh, every box has four double R's, one of each color. A single card with a greater rarity than that, usually a uh, triple R, SR, and SP. First four cards are commons. Second two are uncommons. Then your rare and your climax card. You'll note for people who are new to Wise, uh, as he opens, that boxes are actually pretty um, standardized when it comes to colors. Uh, most sets are 25 of each color. Madoka is 20, 20, 20, 40. 40 in green because both Homer and Madoka are green. So you'll see that have just about twice as much. The card in the back is the points card. Uh, if it says that explanation point dealy, that's a hazare, that means try again. Uh, that event that he was going over is a magical girl appears. It is take two characters from your waiting room, then take a card from your hand and put it to the waiting room. So it's a two it's a one card draw, one card filter. For one. Oh, and it's SR. Is it an SR or a triple R? It's an SR. Let me see here. It is one of the set of five. There we go. Uh, that all go together. You can see she's standing on the left, and then Kyoko is next. Uh, it's the SR of the 2 1 Sayaka that on your opponent's turn, she gets, uh, or your other characters get plus a thousand, and you can pay. Oh, okay. You can. Pay one and move this card to waiting room when her climax combo, the I really am an idiot, comes out. If you pay this cost, she goes to. Um, hold on for a second. I believe actually that combo's up. Give me a second. I want. I don't want to say it's wrong. I don't want to say it wrong on the uh, thing. Hey, Gabby. Yeah. The two-one Sayaka. What's it do? The one that uh, gets a thousand on your opponent, your other turn gets a thousand on your opponent's turn, two one. That's the one that changes up into either of the other two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is she like going like this? Right. Yeah, okay, just making sure. Yeah, what this is, is it's a non-change change. Uh, what it does is you can, uh, when her climax card is out, um, Pick one of two things, either the witch, spoilers by the way, or the level three uh, Sayaka, and or level two Sayaka. No, the level. What are you doing? You're screwing me up, man. The, it's a two two. And the Sayaka is a level three. No. They both switch. Okay. Okay, so there's two two twos, and they're both powerful, but they're they're weak if they come into play from hand as opposed to the um one of the those right. those are the two. That oh, thank you. Alright, so this one is pay one. Um, it is. Yeah, pay one. Then change to the one of those two, and it gets plus 1500 until the end of opponent's turn. Right, but it's not an actual change. It is not an actual okay, change. Okay, that's where I was getting. Okay, here we go. Apologies. And then the witch, if you play from hand, you have to pitch a magic, or else, or else it goes, or to, the it goes room. to the waiting room. And the other one is when it's reversed. Take a damage, rest it. Oh right. And oh. then rest the character to give it a thousand. Cool. Here you go. This is a good one. Uh, this is a yellow double rare. Um, what it does is first when uh, you put it into play, you take a card from your clock, put it to your waiting room, and then if you pay two when this attacks and Tiro Finale is out as of the climax, pick one of their level twos or less in the front row and stock it. Plus it turns off all encore for that turn. So yellow is really good at getting rid of characters.
you'll note of the four comments you get one of each color. Kyoko? Yep. Double Rare Kyoko has the basic cheap Encore. Um, and you can set another magic character to give this card plus 1500. So it is a 1 0 that with you set, if you set, say, one of your back rows to 55, and if you set uh, two of your back rows to 7k. And it's got cheap Encore, so there you go. That second uncommon he had, I actually go to that second uncommon because that's a card I like to talk about. Here, personal favorite card of the set. Uh, what it does is it is a, let's get the camera up on that, it is a 2 1 green event. And what it does is when you play it, you look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck, you pick one and put it to the bottom of the deck and put the other two back in any order. So this comboed up with the, uh, the home res that, or any card that looks at the top of the deck when it attacks lets you for sure uh, attack somebody and know it's not going to get cancelled. Uh, so it's one of the few cards that can actually lock the game for you. Do you, you want to talk about this one? Yeah, that's yeah, cool. a good one. Uh, this Cubay is when this uh, card is uh, when this card is in the front row, you take who, any magic character that is in the center of your front row, so the center mineral, and it gives it Encore, take one card from the top of your deck and clock it. So if you combo that up with any other big card, um, you can make sure whoever's in the front row center never gets uh, moved to waiting room. Uh, Griefsy here, another really good one. It's a yellow event. 2-1 uh, event, counter event, so you can play it on your opponent's turn, like a backup. And it's your, the character in the battle gets plus 1,000 for every magic character you have in play. Uh, the big reason it's so good is there is a 2-2 two -two mommy that shuts down backups in fights that she's in. So, uh, it's the only type of card you can play during it. Especially uh, decks these days that do a lot of deck search and waiting room search to constantly pull back characters with backup. Uh, it can shut them down, and um, those decks usually don't run a lot of counter events, so then those events... There we go. Actually, yeah, from a slightly earlier box, this is a triple rare version of that mommy, and what it does is it shuts down backup. It's also available in the set as a normal card. But this is a cool version. Ooh, shiny. Alright. This one? Okay. Uh, so, this 1 1 Kyogo is one of the ones just like the Sayaka in the trial deck. It uh, is an assist that gives characters in front of it 500 for every assist on the field. So, if it's out there by itself, it gives 500. To the people in front of it. If there's two of them out, if there's two assists out, it gives a thousand. But if you have other assists, like the Sayaka from the trial deck in the front row, especially if they have a cheap Encore, you have four assists out. Each of these folks in the back is given two thousand each. And its other ability is uh, when it comes into play, pay two stock and search your waiting room for a magic character and put it to your hand. So that's a great way to draw cards without having to tick during your clock phase. This is the double R uh, Madoka. Uh, she, if you have three or more other magic characters, uh, she gets plus 1,000. Uh, her second ability is a big one, is uh, uh, when it attacks, if you have the climax card, uh, don't tell anyone in class, out, you can take one of your other characters and move them to memory. During your draw phase, um, you can take that character from memory 
and play it anywhere you like in the field. So what it lets you do is you can attack with another character, it gets reversed, and then this will quote unquote save it by moving it to memory and then bring it back just fine. And then the bottom one is when it attacks if uh, don't tell any classes in play. Uh, make sure I'm saying this right. Uh, your uh, until the end of your opponent's turn, this card gets power plus two thousand. So there you go. Oh yeah, okay, so, uh, in, in the Madoka set, one of the big deals in a set is that the change costs are really, really inexpensive in exchange for um, not being able to do it until your draw phase. So anyone who comes out has to stay on stage for your whole opponent's turn before it comes back. Uh, for example, this mommy here, it changes up for one. It doesn't even, uh, uh, and move it to waiting room, so you don't even have to discard uh, a card from your hand to do it like most change. Uh, on top of that, there's that Cubay. You got that Cubay? Which one? The yellow. The, the, the one, the, uh, the OO Cubay from yellow. Yeah. Somewhere in here, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so this is this this card is a keeper. It gives all of their, it's a zero, 0 so anyone can play it. It gives all of their magic folks, uh, magic characters plus 500, so you put it in the back as an assister. Well, not with assist, but you put it in the back. And um, what it does is when it comes into play, you put a card under it as a marker. That card can be used to pay for change, the pay as stock for change. So not only is change really inexpensive, but this cube here is an early way to put a battery in ice, uh, to use it as, as a type of battery, so your changes are even less expensive. And since it's OO, anyone can play it. And he pulled a point. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you can trade points in through the Heart of the Cards website to get uh, cool shiny stuff. Like uh, real soon they're going to be offering the Madoka playmat for three and the sleeves for two, right? They should go out. I got like seven points for it. Yeah, exactly. And they look really nice. You can check them out on the website. I don't know if they're up right now, but they'll be up soon. And ws-tcg.com is the Japanese site and they're on there. Maybe I want to talk about that guy. I like that one personally. Um... It's when you attack Comex combo, pay two, rescue. Really show the other rescue two? Rescue two. Wow. Okay, so yeah, this 2 1 Kyoko is when it attacks if her Climax combo, Saika versus Kyoko, is that what Saika versus Kyoko is out. Um, you can pay two. If you do this, take two uh, characters from your waiting room. So it's a two for two draw, which is uh, really, really good. And it's a door. And it's a door. Ah, so there you go. Uh, for a lot of you, uh, a lot of a lot of decks will play not based on what their climaxes do as much, but as what the uh, the triggers do. Door is considered one of the best ones because when you trigger it on attack, uh, you can take a card out of your you take a character out of your discard your 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 waiting room and put it to your hand. And so not only is that an excellent move, the climax itself is a door. So it, as opposed to just any other card, uh, any other climax card, you can put a lot into it. And what is this? This is the double rare. I don't know if you talked about that. Oh, I didn't. Did I? Um, I think you did. Let me see here. Uh, this is uh, an assist card, the 1 uh, It's cards in front of it get cheap encore, which is one character, uh, which is discard a character from your hand to encore. And it has a cost one change uh, during your draw phase to up it to the 2 Sayaka. Which is cool. And that's so there you go. So if you'll take a look at the, like for example, the. Uh, you, are these your rares? Yeah, those are Can you rare. put them out by color so people can see? Alright, so of his 16 rares, right? 16? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 15, sorry, sorry, 15. Is that right? You got an extra card in there, don't you? Yeah, I got a double rare in there somewhere. Which one? Yeah, that's. Where'd you go? Oh, no, but you're not coming. Okay. So, as you'll see, you get. I'll slide these in. Here, pull these, pull these down so everyone can see. 
he got uh, three yellow, three blue, three red, and six green. So that's 15. Um, so you'll see that in a full box, he got an equal, it's, since green is twice as big, he got twice as much green, but otherwise he got an equal amount of it, which leaves five open slots in that 20 booster box for the four double R's and the triple slash SR slash SIG. So there you go. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, climax cards. Also, you get one climax cards per. You get one climax card per pack, and most of them are CCs, and one of them is a CR. Generally, you get I'd say every climax card in the box. Is that right? You get one of at least one of every climax card in the box. Yeah, you get one of every. Cl yeah. Uh, yes. One of every climax. What, card. Yeah. There you, you get one of every. You get one of every climax card. That's one CR. Hold on. So it's got to focus. Focus. Why are you not focusing? Here's my hand. I have no idea why the camera stopped focusing. That's weird. Anyway, you get one of every Climax card. Why is this not focusing? There we go. And then you get multiples of Climax comments, of course, here. Nope. So you see he got two of each common Climax, and then one of one of each of the rare Climaxes, and there's one of each, and that's everything. So thanks for watching.